Hey everyone, my name is EJ and today I'm going to be showing you some cool text edge effects uh, that I discovered while working on a, a project recently. Um, you know, most of us when we're doing type we and we want some edges, we're gonna you know go in here uh, and you know get your fillet caps and you know mess around with all these, you know, engraved. Uh, and to get the different colors we gotta you know go in here and you know, put the selection tag, uh, C1, and you know that's how you're that's how you're getting things done the old way. Uh, I wanted more control and different looks than just you know what the six seven that you have right here. So instead of using the mo type, I started with uh, the text object and change this font something a little bit cool looking uh, so the whole dealing with the text spline you have you're always working with this outline it gives you a lot of control with what you want to do so let's let's put this in a extrude nerve doing it the old school way before mo type even existed and so there you go, you got the extruded text. Now what we're going to do is we've got that text object selected. I'm going to make a copy using the instance object. So there you go, it's already referencing the text object. Now what we're going to do is we're going to bring that into a sweep nerve. This is how we're going to do our edge. Um, so you, if you get that. Now we want something to sweep along this text edge and you can go in here and uh, I've found some cool things using the profile uh, gotta make this stuff smaller so uh, go with that and so already let's move this back a little bit already you can see we got uh, some pretty cool things going on and let's, uh, let's put some materials on these let's do a quick render so you got this nice, really, you know, really cool, you know, bevel going on, and you have way more control over it than you did with just the, uh, you know, the engraved option. So uh, you know, you can come in here and you know, change it to T shaped. It really doesn't change it that much. Uh, Z shape. Uh, you know, really get you know, mess around with all these different functions. Uh, and the nice thing about using this text object and why that's so important is, you know, you got this nice bevel now, or be, uh, you know, effect going on. You can come in here, change the text, and bam, that automatically updates too. So this workflow works so nice with, you know, messing around with everything. Because if you wanna, if you're doing multiple uh, projects and you de need different, different, you know words you can just go in and just change that text object and it just automatically updates everything else that you did because you can layer all these different kind of uh, edge effects in here so let's uh, so that's the profile and there's just so many so many things you can try so let's see the four side whoa let's bring that down ten five actually let's change it to fifteen Let's move this up. And uh, remember that, see how that looks. So you got this nice, uh, you know, be bezeled edge here going on, which is pretty, pretty cool looking. Um, you know, if you go like this, you're gonna have to, you're gonna have to mess around with uh, the caps here to make a, whoop. To make this match up with that, so let's, let's do three. Let's see if that one looks good. Uh, and we're gonna let's put the C1 to just have this material just apply to the front. Let's put this dark texture on the back. And we got to make sure that we have the the cap as the outermost material for it to be on top of this darker texture. And so you got, uh, 
let's move this move this out a little bit let's move this back there you go so right there got that cool chiseled chiseled kind of look um, I had a lot of fun messing around with all these different uh, things you can sweep across that uh, text line uh, next let's do the let's do an arc like that let's bring this down and so we got this cool uh, let's change the end angle so it's a nice semicircle. So you got this cool, uh, you know, half circle rounded effect that looks way cooler than just the rounded effect that you had inside of the Mo text. Uh, let's try the. Whoop, let's go. Let's try the end side. That. Let's bring these down. Let's bring it down to seven. And now for this, uh, we're gonna have to bring the Fong tab down because, as of right now, it just the way the Fong tag is, it's just making it a little rounded. We don't want that. We want a nice uh, sharp, sharp edges. So let's change the Fong tag down. So now you see we got this nice. Uh, nice bevel going on uh, we can change you know the sides get this kind of cool effect so you have so much control over your edges now you know using that uh, and another thing you know since you're dealing with this uh, just this edge the spline uh, you can clone things on it and uh, what I did in my one project was I used this and cloned uh, screws along the edge of my type. So I'm going to show you how to do that real quick. Get a cloner object. Let's pull in a screw. So put that in our cloner. Let's turn this back on. Uh, now we're going to change the mode to object and we're going to put the text as the object reference not the instance because the instance won't work uh, so bring that in there and you can see we've got a whole whole mess going on so we're going to uh, we're going to scale down the screw which go into the transform properties of uh, what, of the cloner object. A little bit easier than just scaling the actual screw. Uh, we're going to turn off the line clone. And that will make all these screws facing the right way, which we want out. Uh, bring the count down. Bring it down even more. And so there you go. We got uh, the 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 screws cloning along the edge of the of the text and we want to move see they're not lining up to the edge so what we're gonna do is just bring this transform in and uh, wait I'm just gonna push this back on the Z and uh, there you go we're gonna turn back on our sweep nerve our edges uh, let's bring this out. There we go. Let's uh, bring this down a little bit. Whoop. Bring this back up. Let's move our screws up. There you go. Gotta make a Screws a little smaller here. Bring them up, bring them back up. There you go. You got uh, some screws along the, the edge there. 
And uh, the last thing I'm going to show you, the, the one of the coolest, uh, well, what I think, it, lo it looks pretty dang cool. Uh, you bring in the cog wheel, right? Uh, we're going to bring this down. Let's do uh, six, seven, eight. Going to get rid of this end side. And uh, check that out. You got this really cool effect going on with the, the cog wheel cog wheel object here. I mean, that, that looks pretty dang cool, right? So you can mess around with you know the radius, the teeth. Um, let's bring this down to five. That's looking it's looking pretty sweet too. There you go, um, and I've you know you can layer stuff. You know since you got the the sweep spline too, you can uh, mess around with the end growth. So you know, say you uh, let's see, you only want it on part of the text. It's, uh, you only want it on part of the text. There's like a little little cool edge like I did uh, in my other project here. See, I only have uh, this little edge going along some of it, give it that kind of effect. So, I mean, there's so many things you could do, and I only touched on, you know, a few of these options to get these, uh, you know, these cool edges, the edge profiles of this, the text one. And, uh, you know, like I said, you can always go back and change the text and it automatically updates everything including the cloner so your your uh, screws automatically go and cover your your new word here so uh, hope you learned something there uh, mess around play with some more effects uh, to get these these edges and uh, thanks for thanks for watching